Now, The Night Watch is a masterpiece by Rembrandt, and it tells the story of a civil militia. It's the subject, though, now of a major restoration project at a museum in Amsterdam. The last time the work, which dates from 1642, was restored was 40 years ago, and now certain parts of it show signs of blanching. Louise Miner has the details. Restoration of Rembrandt's painting, The Night Watch, has begun at Amsterdam's museum. The enormous work of art is too big to move and is being restored inside a giant glass box. It's the first time a full scan of the oil canvas has been made using X-ray technology. Just in terms of the photography, there'll be more than 12,000 images that will just make up one total image. And then you can imagine that with each of the modalities, with the chemical imaging that we're going to do, the correlation of all that data. So I think the huge challenge will be studying all that material, uh, interpreting all that material, and then trying to come to an understanding of actually what it means for the condition and, the, uh, and how the picture was painted. And what we've seen with our last conservation of uh, the two Rembrandt full-length portraits that we acquired with France is that you can see very well with these techniques which changes Rembrandt made. And we don't know much about how Rembrandt made this painting and now we hope to discover more and really get a, a glimpse into the kitchen of the artist. And you can watch the restoration works as they're carried out as the process is streamed live on the internet. I think this is the most exciting thing of all, is actually to see how they restore it. So we'll be going online and just seeing the detail with which they do it. My husband is just fascinated with um, art restoration and uh, he's now retired. We have time and we can access the internet, which is just amazing to watch it. So that will be, uh, yeah, that's our retirement project, I think. <laughs> This restoration project marks the 350th anniversary of the artist's death in 1669. Louise Minor, Euronews.